At least two people were killed and 27 injured in Chad on Tuesday as demonstrators took to the streets demanding a return to civilian rule after the military took control following President Idris Deby's death last week. Tensions have risen in Chad following Deby's death and the military transition is struggling to win over a population exhausted by 30 years of monolithic autocratic rule. At least two people were killed and 27 injured in Chad on Tuesday, as demonstrators demanded a return to civilian rule. Tensions have been rising since President Idris Deby's death was announced a week ago. A military council subsequently took power and has promised elections in 18 months. But it struggled to win over a population tired after three decades of monolithic autocratic rule. Some opposition figures have called the military takeover a coup and urged people onto the streets. N'Djamena resident Alassem Djimonyan said people had come out to demand freedoms. They talk about democracy in theory, but on the ground there's no democracy. That's why people came out today, to protest and demand their rights, because we're fed up. Djimonyan criticised the role of former colonial power France which had justified the military takeover because of exceptional circumstances. But on Tuesday, French President Emmanuel Macron condemned the treatment of protesters. We want to express our worry over the development of the situation. First of all, by strongly condemning the repression of protests and the violence that took place this morning in N'Djamena. He was speaking alongside Democratic Republic of Congo's President Felix Sisekedi, who called for democratic order to be quickly restored. France and DRC released a joint statement urging elections within 18 months. The Military Council had banned protests on Monday evening, saying they could lead to disorder at a time of national mourning. A health official at a hospital in the capital in Jemena confirmed the death of a man in his 20s. Witnesses also reported the death of another protester in Chad's second largest city, Mundu. A spokesman for the military council said security forces were attempting to contain the protesters while limiting material damage. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.